Hello everyone and welcome to episode 22 of the Disguise 5 Complete LP. We have reached another double digit, like 11, uh, with repeating numerals. So, let's get to the uh, conversation. So, I'm not sure uh, if everyone's involved, but uh, let's do it. Seems like it. So now we have Red Magnus asking people to be his sparring partners because he wants to be the strongest overlord ever. Uh, so you talk about sweaty, stinky stuff from way up there. Uh, so now he's asking, like, hey, don't you feel insufficient, kinda? Because Killian and Zero are training super hard to be able to defeat Bloodus, essentially. Because the way they present it is Killian and Zeroken are sort of doing it almost all on their own. The rest of the team is just kind of there to open up a situation in which they can do it, like do the move they need to. And he, uh, Red Magnus is being like, oh, we need to, we need to get stronger. That way, it's not just those two pulling at all the weight around here. Of course, uh, it's more for Red Magnus just being simplistic. Like, I don't like Zero getting stronger because. Zoroken is the, supposed to be the weakest guy here. Even though I feel like Christo is probably like the weakest person physically. So now he's just really angry and is asking people to just bring it. And Serafina is just doing some sly shit. See, the thing that uh, I don't understand, well, I don't want to say don't understand, but I'm surprised that they didn't have a Serafina, like Serafina's face paint, like reversed and from behind. Uh, because in other ways, like they had Zoroka staggering in from from doing stuff, but they didn't uh, put in that extra step with Serafina this time. I'm just surprised at that. So never knowing where you attack from this is all just part of your journey. So what I do like is how Serafina just does not give a shit. She will shoot at anyone. But it's usually primarily Red Magnus and Zoroken. Although sometimes she'll attempt to shoot Kilia. Just because. But, uh... Yeah, he'll be the strongest overlord. Supreme won't give up yet. What are you doing? Just bring it. <laughs> that's just a that's just a funny sound effect because it's uh, reminiscent of one of the Disgaea 2 sound effects. Uh, because one of uh, Adele's younger brothers had a move where he just kind of spun around in a circle, flailing his arms, and the sound effect for it was pretty similar. been taken out by a child's punch. I'm guessing he was uh, hitting the uh, yup <laughs> because of her short stature lane and multiple critical hits to his private area. And she's hopped up on our super fucking awesome curry. So because you can see it's duration 93, we haven't done anything. So once again, I'm going to save for saving sake. And Where would you like to go, dude? go into the dimension guide. We have successfully stolen an item from one of the martial training demons. And it is time to go to Zodiac Airframe. So I'm going to try and get through a decent number of uh, maps this time. Okay, Zoroken, listen up. Goldion explained his final skill to me like this. You cannot activate the ultimate demon technique, final skill, a video holy water if you have evil intentions. You have to get rid of all evil within you, and release your innocent heart. That's when the final skill is complete. Release your innocent heart. Anger, hatred, doubt, desires. These are all impurities of the heart. I couldn't get rid of these evil intentions. But isn't it impossible for a demon to get super rid of all evil intentions and have an innocent heart? 
Red Magnus is right. If a demon had an innocent heart, then it wouldn't be a demon. My, demons can have innocent hearts too. For example, take me and Sir Kilia. That's called a cluster of evil. As you can see, Kilia, we demons are full of evil, Plip. Do you really think it's possible for us to release an innocent heart? It is possible. Goldion was able to do it. A demon that surpassed demonhood. That was the great demon fist, Goldion. <laughs> Kilia, you sound a little proud, Plip. As you said, Usalia, we're full of evil. For a demon, possessing an innocent heart forces massive pressure, both mentally and physically. But overcoming that pressure activates an explosive energy with an impact that surpasses your own limits. That is the mechanism of the ultimate demon technique, final skill, of Vidya Holy Water. Zorokin, your feelings toward Goldion, there's no doubt they're coming from an innocent heart. Get rid of your evil intentions and face it with an innocent heart. Even if it's impossible for me, I know you can do it. Bro, get rid of evil, innocent heart. Get rid of evil, innocent heart. Get rid of evil, innocent heart. Great timing. Now you can practice. Zorokin, your feelings toward Goldion. Release your innocent heart. I, I got it. Get rid of evil, innocent heart. Get rid of evil, innocent heart. So that, that description is actually kind of interesting because it means that, well, from what I understand, it means that to do the move, you have to almost like not have the intention of hurting the person that you are attacking. You have Let's to go. almost want them to be fine. Like you're doing it for their sake type thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So boom. Yeah, this is one of the maps where you just want to have a long line of people. All just sequentially going, because otherwise it will just take forever to do anything. Um, unfortunately, Pram and Natalia, Pram? <laughs> no, unfortunately, Usalia and Natalia are both monster characters. So that means that they cannot both come out. But because I plan on using Usalia more, I am going to have her be right there. the topper. Also because her movement is higher, I believe. Right there. And this is one of the things where I want to go into like the character world. That way I can upgrade everyone's movement, their throw distance. And whatnot, because that's another useful one. Okay, so I'm gonna yeah. pop you right there. Hmm. Pop you right there. Because you can see, like, even with like, all this throwing, I just barely got uh, someone within the range I needed them to. Which is honestly insane. So. This is a blue one that does change blue and it's on green. So this would turn all of this green blue. And then this is also would hit change red, which would change the red. Um, so what I wanna do is I want to hit this one first, then this one. That way everything will change red. Well, all the green will change red while hitting the blue. And then the blue will all hit or wait do i want to do that yeah wait mm, complication i may want to oof okay you know what i'll figure it out later doesn't really matter uh, end turn <laughs> dark fist volley not sure if i've seen this before so i'm just gonna opt out yeah. of not skipping oh, to make sure 
So now we've gotten to the point where, oh yeah, because everything's attack too. So everyone does their stuff twice, as long as they're within the area, which is really useful for killing people. But uh, now we're in the point where they're doing some damage again. Not a lot, but they're doing some. Yeah, and uh, what that is is defense, where if you're standing next to a person and you're defending, uh, they will not be hit. Um, and I'm just going, wow, I'm surprised. Oh yeah, and because they're defending, they're taking less damage. Um, I was wondering, like, wow, that guy is just not uh, going to die at all. But let's do that. Um, up here. Use Wild Crescent. Take out those guys. Gonna, nope. Want to shoot you down this way. Let's see if I can hit multiple people with this. Get rid of them. So, all this green will change into one color and then change into the next color. Now if I hit blue first... Yeah, I want to hit blue first. Because if I hit blue, then all this will change to blue. Then hit this, which will change all to red. And because this is on blue, this will also get hit and it will null it. Okay. So I have I have my game plan. I just wish I had another person to do said game plan with. Uh, so I am going to try and kill him. So let's do all this. The defense has a range, like a decent amount of range as well. Okay, so... Fortunately, he doesn't have the jump. God, you are... Christo, you are just such a shit character. I, hope, I want you to know that from the depth of my heart. You're just absolute shite. So I'm gonna walk over here. Just attack you blatantly. Um, I don't want to kill everyone. Um, not that I can because uh, Zeta is that way and they're already used, so I can end turn here. Oh wow. Oh yeah, attack two times because awesome stuff. Spally, Spally, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The counter gets rid of it. Okay, so I want to Get rid of this one first. Everything is blue. And I want to get rid of this one. And let's see what that does. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's doing damage to all my people, but I'm not worried about it. It's going through, going through, getting a lot of chain. Hoping to get it. I think this will fill out the bonus gauge. And kill everyone, maybe? Probably not. Okay, bonus gauge 9. Let's look at it. So we're gonna get an earth and bow, which isn't, uh, which isn't, eh, it's kind of crap compared to what I have. I was looking at the yummy kimchi and I was like, why is a, why is a bow giving me HP and SP? That was kind of odd. But yeah, now everyone is definitely lower on health and has no geo panel. Uh, uh, advantages. Yeah. So I'm just gonna come down here and kill. Because yeah. now my characters are in a much better position than the enemy ones are. <laughs> oh, cool. There's a surrender. That is very nice. So, this is the biggest overlord in all the netherworlds. I was expecting more. He's just oversized garbage. You've wasted my time. Now, what should I do with you? He only looks like a dragon! He's nothing compared to a real dragon like you, Lord Void Darkoink! I see. Since you have no chance of beating me, you've called for reinforcements. Too bad it doesn't matter how many of you there are. 
death to the false dragons. Please wait, Oink! I'd like to remind you that I'm still here to... this a quake? No. Is it an explosion? The Supreme One felt a super enormous amount of energy shake the entire universe! I have a bad feeling about this, Plip. What was that, bro? Don't get distracted by things that don't concern you. You'll never be able to get rid of evil like that. Focus. Uh, aye, aye! Get rid of evil! Innocent heart! Get rid of evil! Innocent heart! Here is your report, Lord Void Dark Meow. Who are you? I am here on behalf of my predecessor, who died in that mess earlier. I, Duke Cat Saber, shall serve as your 86th secretary, Meow. Okay. So what's with that report? It's hard to believe, but according to this report, Demon General Bloodus is having some trouble, Meow. What? Bloodus is... Yes, he is currently battling the rebel army that has been rapidly increasing in force recently, Meow. Rebel army? They must have trained really hard to corner Bloodus like that. Okay, so we just got to see some of uh, Lord Void Dark uh, talk and Let's see how powerful it is. He just did like a Vegeta type thing where he just blew up a fucking planet with. One, I mean, I guess it's a a Frida Vegeta or no Frida. I hope I didn't say Frida. Frieza slash Vegeta thing because they both do it. You know, just blowing up planets. Piccolo blows up the moon, but uh, yeah showing just how powerful he is. And I do find it interesting how the orc doesn't just disintegrate. He 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 goes flying off. But I feel almost like the uh, the the orc kind of killed himself in a way by going in front. Cuz like it's not like the platform they were on got destroyed or anything. He just what? <laughs> like if he backed away, he probably would have survived in all likelihood. I, I feel like he almost killed himself in that in that regard. Um, well, because there's uh, nothing what? else going on, I guess I'll send someone on a uh, research. Because you can research the same thing like more than once, so to like find new items and whatnot. So let's just do Dark Illuminati. Um, yeah, poor clever. You're good. Yeah, you're alive. Yeah, you should be yeah, fine. Dude. Hmm. Okay. Dun dun dun. And time to yeah, talk. Dude. <laughs> yeah, you can already go. If you want backtrack, you can go. <laughs> you can go, uh, uh. Grind. Or you can just go to the item world where it's much better. So now they're talking about the Mobile Fortress Netherworld. Dark Testament. There's there's almost like a really fun nuance to like Japanese naming when it's always translated. Because it's like, wow, you just love really long names that are all super edgelordy. Uh, too good for the loss to have it. Should we take it over by force? Aren't giant battleships impressive? Um, and then Kilia just doesn't care. See, me, I'm, I'm on Zerokin's side. I think, like, giant battleships are cool as hell. Especially when, like, you take them over. It's like, oh, that battleship was the enemy's, but, uh... But now it's ours, and, uh... Joking, right? Having lasers, drills, and giant battleships are the biggest dreams of any man. So, like, 
lasers, I believe is like a reference to Gundam. Drill is uh, probably a reference to Tang and Top of Gurren Lagann, which was Drill was the entire thing. And Giant Battleships is like, oh, just about every anime. Such a stereotypical dream. Dream. Oh my god, I'm just going through puberty, guys. My voice just loves cracking. Uh, yeah, Supreme One thinks that destroying a giant battleship is every man's dream. So, uh, very stereotypical, bully. So, destroying battleships is actually one interesting thing, because there's a Disguy anime which covers the first game, and there's a po portion where Laharl just destroys, like, hundreds of battleships from the human world like all on his own like very quickly and it's like wow you are really strong kid uh zero still not still i will do the avidya stuff video holy water uh, i'm doing my best but it's hard to get a handle on it which makes sense because you know the demon to do it a demon has to essentially throw away the basest part of their existence and that's what makes it super impressive. Other bunch of skills create myself. Move is where I go supersonic and bust through any defense. It's the fastest move in all the netherworlds. Uh, but it's really funny because he's uh, he says he has the move, but he probably doesn't. And that's why, uh, <laughs> yeah. He, 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 I don't want to say he's faking, but he's pro it's probably either like a not perfected move or he just doesn't have it. So he's totally faking. Uh. <laughs> yeah, and then you get Red Magnus just being kind of ignorant to other people's qualms. <laughs> um, okay. It's so weird seeing like all these new people around because it's like, wait, who are you? I don't remember you. And it's like, oh yeah, I just kind of made you on my team for because I just wanted you to be like, I wanted you to be just placeholders. Um, oh, cool. I can recruit bears now. Uh, but three muscles. I can give you three muscles. Yeah, man, dude, uh, manual. See, the thing I don't like about auto select is it automatically goes to like your best ones. <laughs> so if you do auto, it takes like the top three. It doesn't take your weakest, which kind of really sucks. Okay, what do you need? I need to kill three mushroom objects. Uh, I should just do you. Like, I don't understand why. Because it's literally saying, go to this one map set and kill mushrooms. And it's like, ah, uh, you bastard, I don't care. Um, yeah. I'm yeah, just going through the quests. Nothing too special. So if I go here, save. New save slot. Well, not new, but save over, overwrite. Overwrite that save. Where would you like to go, dude? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Dark Testament. And martial training. Okay. I'm not sure if I read the description on that one, but... Uh, Vauban Sphere. See, a lot of these names where it's just like... I, I guarantee they're referencing something, but I have no idea what they're referencing. And I wish I did, because I feel like I'd appreciate it a little more. Alright. Do it. Ultimate demon technique! Final skill! Crap! Why? The reason is simple. You have yet to get rid of all your evil. Hey, bro. You said it was impossible for you to use this skill. Is that true? Yeah. Why do you ask? Because when I look at you, it seems like you have more of an innocent heart than I do. My heart is full of hatred and rage. It's impossible for me to perform a trick like this. But it doesn't really seem like that. Vengeance is the only thing that keeps me going. 
I can't let go of my anger and hate, and I don't intend to let go of it. That's why I'm relying on you. Huh? Sorokin, you have something that I don't. Your innocent heart and wanting to save Goldion will surely lead you to mastering this skill. Yeah, I get it, bro. I will complete it. I promise. And I'll save Goldion. I'll graduate from being a weakling coward to becoming a strong man. Hey, you peeping toms. How long are you planning to hide? It's time to fight. My, how unfortunate. If you noticed, you should have said something, Sir Kilia. <laughs> Ever since we entered this enemy netherworld, you guys have done nothing but training and peeping. You sure have plenty of time. See, I do find it interesting because uh, Let's uh, go. earlier uh, Usalia was the one to say like, oh yeah, demons are just like full of all like the bad emotions, like all the evil. But yet she is from another world of demons that don't want to fight, like demons that aren't very demonic. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. So on these panels uh, are the clone ones. And essentially what will happen is every turn or so, I believe, they'll just basically make this character on an empty clone panel, which will be really annoying. Like, absolutely, infuriatingly annoying. And once again, this is another uh, kind of clone map. Or, not clone map. Um, another... Oh, damn doesn't have enough. Another a, uh... Oh, God, I lost my chance. Right I hate when it happens. Another tower map. Another one where you're just like, okay, let's make the biggest tower possible, spread them all out over the field, and just do it. Because I'm actually gonna put Pram out this time, just let her thing do some damage. Because I don't really care. Right there. I don't... Saying I don't really care gives off an air of... Like pretentiousness. I do care. Like I really do. I wanna I wanna do this map proud by finishing it as fast as possible. I want to show my competency in the game. Like I, I want a lot of things. I will like I don't wanna disrespect this game because people these games take work. Like doing anything like this takes work. And I really like uh, I admire the people who make games because like they're able to have like a vision like, just like any author or artist in their brain of what they want someone to experience and then give them that experience and by no means would I ever like consider that easy because I've like I've tried doing like artsy things like oh maybe I'll uh, write a short story or whatever and it's hard it's hard having something in your brain and then trying to oh man that's a really good move Oh, crap. Maybe I should get a professor. But uh, it's it's hard to like, do something like that. Be, like have something in your brain and be able to put it into words or just give it a physical representation so someone else can experience what you had in your brain. Like, it's just fun. It's so impressive to me. Um. Okay, so I definitely need to get rid of that clone block and that clone block as well. Um, so let's just come over here. Um, Linda, you, because I think these guys respawn every single turn, which does make them slightly more annoying. Uh, but not impossible. No, no, there. Damn it. Mother. No, not mother. Uh, there, 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 there. Can you attack with this? With eh, that? Mm. Uh, can you do 
this. Yes, you can, but it's not gonna kill you. But you're not a clone, so that's not too big a problem. And I guess I'll just demon solace you. I always forget that uh, because the damage uh, percentage like bar doesn't take into account critical. So like even if it says like oh yeah it's like not enough uh, if you account for the critical it is. And I believe putting a um, a friendly on the clone one doesn't make a clone of the friendly character. Hopefully. I hope it doesn't. Huh. Yep, Thunderbolt. Killer spin. Just the standard sort of. Okay. Yeah, it seems to only be like one panel per. So I may, I may not even have to destroy the Geo Blocks because they're just. They're lining up to be knocked down. Because AoE moves are the best. Okay, perfect. And, you know, simple AI. AI that is easily manipulated is some of the best and worst AI, depending on the game. All right, do it. Ultimate demon technique, final skill. <sighs> Damn it! Why won't it work? Could it be that Zero doesn't have what it takes? Well, if you think so, then the answer is obvious. How could a Zerokin do something that Sir Kilia can't even do? <laughs> do I really not have any talent? Does being a weakling coward suit me? If you ask me, I would have to say it definitely suits you. Eat some curry, but are you okay with that? Letting them say whatever they want about you, or was all that stuff about becoming strong like Goldion and saving him all just talk? No, I I'll complete the final skill even if it kills me. I won't run away, I won't be a coward anymore. I will save Goldion. Yeah, so with that, you get to start seeing, like, okay, like, Zerokin is really uh, coming up and just starting to really what? kind of fill out his character's shoes. Like, you can see that uh, Zerokin is the first character that is, like, really... Uh, okay, yeah, this is primarily the reason why you send people to go on repeat expeditions. Uh, because you just want to get a new one. <laughs> Even though it's lower level, but uh, uh yeah, I'll send you on it because you're level 95. Yeah, you can go on it. You can go on it, but okay, I'll lend cool. a hand. Um, boom, boom. I'm going. Yeah, I'm just gonna try and get multiple. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Unfortunately, you only have a limited number of ships to send. So now on this final one. Uh, let's just go to the world. Boop, 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 boop. Yeah, dude. So those will all be over relatively quick because uh, pre-research overworlds you up. generally get re-researched very fast. Um... Okay, so I'm going to this is come it. over here and interrogate the one person. Or, no, not just one person. You interrogate the multiple people. And then I will just drop them into the squad. Awesome. The squad. The, uh, the Dark Assembly squad. Uh, boop, 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 boop. So right now it has 59 members. If I really wanted to do it. Ooh. Awesome. Okay. I just need to check one thing. I want to see how the capture squad. Okay, so you have 10,000. Because if you really want to, like, 
this is one of those like item management type things or resource management where it's like if you want to do stuff faster do you want to put in your resources right now into the things you want or do you want to prioritize the thing that will get you the materials to upgrade the things you want faster even if it takes more time in the initial investment like do you want do you want immediate uh, satisfaction or do you want future expedition so I think I might actually uh, start going into like higher level item worlds or something and Where would you like to go, dude? Uh, doing my best to get higher level people so I can interrogate them and get a bigger ranged uh, capture Zorokin, think of this as your last opportunity. If you can't get a grasp on the final skill, then we need to give up on saving Goldion. Power is everything for demons! Red Magnus guesses it's impossible for a weakling like you to do the final skill. My, what a useless male. Just clean my shoes like the other prinnies. I want curry for dinner, Plip. It looks like we have no choice. We must give up on saving Goldion and go with Plan B. What? I can't accept that. I'm going to save Goldion. Then prove it. Release your innocent heart that wants to save Goldion with all your might. I... I'll do it! I'll do it! I won't run away anymore! No matter how scary it is! I will save Goldion this time! Uh... See, I'm not... I kinda... Okay, so this is one of the weird ones. So basically, here are these warp panels. And every single turn, they're gonna put me on a different place where I then have to move that character to warp somewhere else, and then so on and so forth until you get to the final place. And so it's basically just like, okay, who's your strongest person? And who can you send out to do it the best? So Let's I'm go. just going to send Kilia here. Of course, another way that I believe it's intended to do is have a giant tower of people. Have them all here. That way when you warp, you can throw, leave one person, have that person throw the tower back onto the warp, and then go. Just over and over and over and over and over again. Which is what I'm going to do, because thinking about it, what if, by some horrible stroke of bad luck, Kilia misses? If Kilia misses, he is now on the next platform and I have to go through all of the teleportations again to get another person onto that uh, particular uh, uh, landing again. And I don't want to have to deal with that. Not one bit. So I'm not sure how many there are, but this should be fine. So I'm going to end turn, hope it all works like I want it to. So. There. And unfortunately, this means that Kilia is going to be warped back to that first one. But they're probably going to attack him, which will in turn uh, get, him, get them countered and killed. And now he's not going to get warped, so they're definitely dead. Because they moved him. Um, okay, there they are. So what I want to do is, I messed up last time, I believe, and uh, luckily this time they can't, because if they are getting warped back, I need to throw, leave one there, and then throw the tower the rest of the way. What is it? Slime, slime, what is it? Here, boink. Is this okay? Yeah, so... Just going to do that. Pull back.
back. That. Uh, move him here. She's got it. Um. Okay. And now I don't believe we need to warp anymore. Although we can't. Oh no, we, we totally do. So basically this one, I definitely need to leave someone there. Because I need to get over here to kill these guys. Uh, I'm going to end Take care of them. Mega fire, fire. Okay. So. Uh, those two guys. Let's have him go over. Give an impaler thing. Ah, yes, here we go. Perfect. So I'm glad I did this instead, because there's a branching path that essentially required me to. Um, Kilia is there. Attack. Okay, I can enter. I'm the <laughs> Zeta Beam. Okay. A lot of this is just skipping animations. Because if I notice a, uh, a skill that like I haven't shown you guys, I don't want to skip past it. So I don't want to put auto skip on. But I also don't want to spend all the time watching. Um, so I figured I might as well attack. Um, while I have the chance, or capture someone while I have the chance. Oh my god, these guys are very strong to fire. Um, and there's... Yeah, there's nothing I can really do. So... Just to make sure everything is going good. Just flipping through the characters. Okay, enter. Capture skill. I do like it, how it goes from like a butterfly net in the first one to like a cage coming from the bottom. Makes me curious as to what the capture skill 3 is, because I don't remember it at all. I'm just countering, just taking out everyone, and it's perfect. Good. And she leveled up from bonus XP, which is very useful. Make the bonus XP? Great, because it makes grinding less important. That? This is. <laughs> so I can grasps, grasped a hint of the final skill. Looks like we're all ready now. It's time for the real deal. The bro. Whoa. Zorokin is carrying a netherworld within him. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, Zero. I'm impressed! You're not a weakling anymore! Old Man Magnus... Don't call Red Magnus an old man! He's younger than he looks! Ah, oh, Zoroken, who now carries another world within him, became an overlord! Now, God, Zoroken is an overlord! Is an overlord. Like us. And they just know it now. To congratulate you for mastering the final skill, I'll let you become one of my servants! <laughs> Serafina Sis! Don't call me Sis. You shall address me as Madam Serafina. Yeah, he got an overload skill. Super Luminal Wolf. Oh, you so did, cool. Zero. So excited. Tonight we're having curry flip! Unbelievable. It appears we can proceed with our plan after all. Usalia, 
Christo. Bro, and everyone else. Did you guys all purposely say harsh things to me so that I could bring out my power? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so, this is what it's like to have allies. You, you idiot! Men don't cry! <laughs> and now I have another loyal servant. We're counting on you, Zerokin. Whether or not the Rebel Army will be able to recruit the Great Demon Fist Goldion is entirely up to you. Christo, we're not recruiting him, we're saving him, Blip! Ugh. It just took him not screaming the entire goddamn full name of the skill he wanted to use for it to work. My god. Okay, so the world. Dude. Route to Fairy Fairly Cork, another world. Yeah. Okay, so Fairly Cork. Level 30. Not bad. Okay. Boop boop doop. Let's Over fix here. you up. Treated. Ooh, I can receive a prize. Victory muscle. Okay. Yeah, so I still have a ways to go until I get everything. <laughs> I feel bad because like to get to get these guys I'd have to I'd essentially have to purposely get people killed to do it. Because I don't believe I'm going to reach Me? that amount of uh, deaths to need that many revives uh, without some sort of uh, without some sort of like extreme boss showing up. Um, so the thing is, I like rapid arrow is good, but I usually just use this. But I mean, this one does have like diagonal range, so I guess I can just increase you for the sake of it. Although you don't have a lot, Seraphina. Why don't you have a lot of mana? I mean, I know that the mana isn't on high right now. Um, but I mean, whatever. Doesn't doesn't matter all that much. Um, can I enhance your range anymore? Now I'll just keep enhancing your range. Uh, yeah, so now you can Braveheart quite a few people at the same time. Um, so I am going to save here. Okay. Okay. So now they're now they're asking uh, Zerokin about Goldion himself, because out of everyone, the only two people that have ever met Goldion in the group, outside of his bloodest form, have been Kilia and Zerokin at different points. So it's actually like quite interesting when you think like, wow, this super legendary figure has in fact taught two of the characters on the team. Now, uh, this is, you got, uh, you kind of, uh, get a glimpse of Zerokin's, like, a fanboyishness, like, oh yeah, like, I know, I know every story, I know everything about this guy, like, oh yeah, yeah, you, you need information, leave it to me, I got it. Uh, what doesn't he like, or his flaws, anything besides his old scar, <laughs> master is a perfectionist, he doesn't have flaws. Eh, no, nah, not quite. Because Kilia didn't... Kilia, um, didn't look up to Goldion in the same way as Zerogan. Because, you know, Kilia revealed that he only... He only met Goldion because he wanted to fight him. And he only trained under Goldion because he was beaten and wanted to get stronger to beat Goldion. <laughs> So he he was probably very much uh, <laughs> you sleep in the same room who put you in a hold. I've had countless bad experiences with this, uh, but uh, he he didn't have he he was probably just watching, trying to figure out any weaknesses that Goldion might have had. Able to recruit him into the Rebel Army, he'll be sleeping with you. <laughs> 
No, don't, don't, don't let Goldion just put me in a headlock. That's not nice. Dream come true. Be able to be a mess. Be a mess twenty four seven. Which, it's always those tiny little like nuances, like sayings, like twenty four seven. It's like okay, so that means that the demon worlds, generally the nether worlds, run on a seven week, a seven day week cycle, and every day is twenty four hours. So that's always like a nice, interesting, like throw. Because they could have changed it. They could have changed it to like every 19, like 1928. Like, you'll be with him for 19 hours, 28 days a week, or whatever. But, uh. Because it's always those types of small differences that I really appreciate when, uh. When a game really wants to, like, set up a world. It's like, no, why, why would why would your logic from you, the player standpoint, hold true to your characters in a different world, different universe? Which is always one of those things where it's like, why are these... Like, they have magic, which means that essentially you can't even... Uh, you can't even say the physics have to be the same. Like, right here I'm double jumping, but I'm, I, I've, I've shown that I can use magic. So this is totally within the realm of possibility. In fact, one would think that this is an ability a lot of people have. It's probably just like, oh, these people are kicking super hard off the air. Or they're using magic to jet boost themselves. But it's definitely not like a... It, that type of stuff is always really cool because it just throws the entire like common sense of the narrative into question. It's like, oh, okay, yeah, like, these people have their own world, they have their own sayings, they have their own, like, nuances that don't apply to me and my existence as the player. So, with that, <laughs> I'm gonna end it here uh, on the play screen. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do something special. I'm gonna change the save icon. Because now I have a lot of different people. So you know what? You know what? Best Girl Lusalia is now the save icon. So, boom, boom. Boom. Got Usalia. Save icon. Love it. So that's going to be the save icon until I decide to change it. So, have fun with that. I will see you guys in the next episode. 23. I hope you all... Have a very nice day.